Ah, and the uh, ubiquitous Salvation Army um, kettles. Chris, uh, this is downtown Utica, 1941, and uh, uh, in those times, the members of the army who are stood in the kettles and know that cold wind, and now they ask for volunteers, which is okay. You know, that's great. And people are willing to volunteer, too, to uh, accept donations for the worthy cause. Okay, I don't know where this is, but these kids are cute as a button. And, uh, like, okay, kids, come on, show us how you can shovel the snow in the snow time. There you go. Yeah, that's the way you shovel snow, of course. Thank you for showing us how to do that, kids. Now, one of the great uh, manufacturing organizations of the city of Utica, again, no longer here, the Brunner Manufacturing, which located a, was located on Broad Street. The building is still there, located at, on uh, Broad Street at the foot of um, Gilbert. And uh, uh, I hope you recognize some of the people in this, uh, in this uh, movie portion, too, of the Brunner Manufacturing Company. They were the first company to move out in the late 40s. They started that trend of the companies moving elsewhere. They, this company here would uh, move to Connecticut or was purchased by a company in Connecticut. I recall that Al Zumbrin was the CEO, the chief executive officer of the Brunner Manufacturing Company in those days and um, his picture has got to be included here. This is the clerical staff, secretarial staff of the Brunner Manufacturing Company on Broad Street in 1941. Uh, have you noticed I've said that quite a few times because I want everybody to know that this movie was taken in 1941 in good old Utica, New York, in beautiful and clean Utica, New York. There are 14 Uticas in the United States, but Utica, New York has got to be the best. Sorry for the other cities named Utica, but hey, what are you going to do? We're still number one. Recognize any of these hard workers at the Brunner Manufacturing Company in Utica, 1941? Maybe recognize one of your relatives, one of your uncles, one of your cousins, your brother, your father maybe? A lot of people worked at this place at the Brunners in 1941 and after, right up until the time they moved out. You've got to really recognize some of these people. I wish I did. I'd have to make a list to find out who were the uh, employees of the Brunner Manufacturing Company in 1941 in Utica and then search them down. I don't know if they're... I, I do know that uh, my dear, dear friend Dick Kaleo was an employee here, but he has since passed on. And he would have identified a lot of these people for me. But I'm awfully sorry to report that he's gone. Dominic Dick Kalea. Great company. They took good care of their employees. Good uh, employee morale. And um, many people Many segments of the Utica community were sad when they moved to Connecticut, were acquired by another company, absorbed, moved out. Now, there were many service clubs in Utica in 1941, and maybe I can hazard a guess by saying this was the Torch Club. That name stays in my memory for some reason. I don't know, I'm not for sure. Perhaps you know, and if you do, please notify me because uh, I would like to know who these, these are all great guys, great gentlemen. These were the leaders of the community in 1941 in Utica, New York. And I would dare say that they too met in the Hotel Utica, downtown Utica, New York. Boy, I hope some of you be very helpful in identifying some of these people because I sure would like to know. You know, the reason I say that is because these are all people who were leaders of the community. They were very well-known people, executives, local companies, middle managers. If 
I guess you would call this the networking of its day, where you know the uh, the managers will meet with managers of other companies and promote their own businesses to each other. Good, it was good. Original idea, this whole idea of networking. Yeah, I'd have to say you're looking at the cream of the crop here of uh, Utica's uh, leadership community of 1941. There's old glory. Long may she wave over Utica, New York.